Hi, I'm Sean again, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation and we'll apply the quotient rule. And this one here is our critical thinking question. So if I was given this question about a classmate, a classmate claims, what a claim, that f over g all prime, right, by quotient rule, is equal to f prime over g prime for any function f and g, another way here, f and g. Show an example that proves your classmate wrong. We're going to prove our classmate wrong, and we're showing examples. So if we just find one, my claims looks funky. There we go. So we're going to prove our classmates wrong, and we're showing just basically one example where um, where they're wrong. Just find one example where it's uh, it could be wrong. So if I have f to be four, let's pick f to be four, and g to be two x. If I find f prime is zero and g prime is just two. Okay? And sometimes it's easy to keep it simple. No, no sense in making a really hard, hard problem here. It's going to find one simple way where this is wrong. Okay? So if I wanted to find f over g prime, that's like our quotient rule. Okay? <clears throat> that's a rule that we know. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to take my, my f over um, that f over g all prime, and that's going to be applying the quotient rule right down there. So I'm going to put that here first on the left. And that's going to be f prime, which is 0, times g which is 2x, minus f, which is 4, times g prime, which is 2, all over g squared, which is 2x all squared. So on the right-hand side, they, they've said, okay, what about f prime over g prime? So that's when we put 0 over 2, okay? So now I have my f prime over g prime right here, and then I have my quotient rule, which is f over g all prime, which I set up right there, and I apply the quotient rule right here. So let's just let's simplify this. Uh, each side, is, don't bring anything over the equal sign. We're going to see if they are equal on both sides. 0 times 2x is 0. So we have 0 minus 4 over 2, uh, 4 times 2, which is 8. So we really don't need that 0 there. Let's eliminate that. We have a negative 8 up top. Okay. Negative 8 up top. And the denominator, 2x squared is a 4x squared. Okay. Um, that equals 0. 0 to 0. Do they equal? No, they don't, right? Now we could simplify this one more if I really, really wanted to. You know, 4 and 8 is just, that's the same thing as like a negative 2 over x squared equals 0 if I want to simplify it. At this point, we really can clearly see that they're not equal, right? So they're not equal. So since my left and right are not equal, we can't make this claim. We've already found one case where it's not true. So we can't make the claim that it works, that f f over g all prime is equal to f prime over g prime. So our classmate is wrong. So let's recap. We're given a classmate claims that f over g all prime is equal to f prime over g prime for any function f and g. Again, the key is they said for any function. Okay? Show an example that proves your classmate wrong. So if I can find one function where it's not right, then the claim is incorrect because he's, uh, he or she said is for any function. So I picked f to be 4, g to be 2x, and I found f prime to be 0 and g prime to be 2. Keep it simple when you're picking these, all right? Don't, know, don't need for a really complicated problem here. So then I saw this f over g prime is really the quotient rule, so I wrote out the quotient rule here to be f times uh, f prime times g minus f times g prime all over g squared. And I set that equal to what our classmate said to be f prime over g, f prime being 0, over g to be 2. And then I want to see, are these the same, okay? If they're not the same, classmate thinks wrong. Simplify. I numerator got negative 8, denominator 4x squared on the left, and the right-hand side 0 over 2 is just 0. If I wanted to simplify it more, you could, you don't really have to, but I have a negative 2 over x squared is not as equal to 0, but they're not equal, right? They're not equal to each other. Uh, so since they're not equal, my classmate is wrong, and we can say, hey, we found a case, we found a, a function, an uh, f and g function, that this doesn't work, because our classmate claimed that it worked for any function f and g. And that is our final answer.